Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am here to do a haul video. I have hauls from various stores, including Michaels, uh, Target, Joanne, Tuesday Morning, and a little Hobby Lobby. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. These are in no particular order. Okay, let me say this. <laughs> If you have been looking for the new release items for the Happy Planner um, and you've only been checking online to see if it's available in your store, that is not a reliable search. So when you pull up the item and check, you know, your, your, in your area or in a certain zip code or whatever, I'm thinking you, you can't depend on that. I had been going to the store repeatedly after the re release date just checking in to see if they had the items out. Then I got sick and I just said, okay, I'm going to stop this. I'm not going every day. I'll just check online when I saw that you could, you know, search by your zip code. Well, I checked this morning and it said that it was not in stores. I had to go to Michael's for something else. And what did I see? The new Happy Planner stuff. I didn't get everything, and I'm kind of glad that I had to wait. Um, I already had the budget stickers. I have the budget insert, and I don't think that was part of the new release. I'm not sure. But I have that, and I'm not, I'm probably not going to use it. I started using it a couple of days ago, and I just really didn't like it I'm thinking that these expense trackers are all I'm gonna need so and then on the back side it has a bill pay checklist I think that is sufficient for my needs I don't need a whole insert so I kinda hate that I already wrote on it but hey live and learn so um, I may go back to using it at a later time and I really wanted it and I really wanted that to work but anyway, so I got the expense tracker. Everything was 30% off, plus there was an additional 20% off today only. And this was on Sunday, January 7th. And I also picked up, even though I've heard bad reviews about <laughs> the usability of these, I picked up the Home Life stickers, and this is what's in there. and I picked up the checklist sticker roll so these are stickers in a box they're on a roll and this is what's included so I haven't opened them I was waiting for you guys they have um, a faith version they have uh, um, I think a productivity or something. I don't know, but I didn't need most of the sticker or oh, wellness pack box. I didn't need the stickers that are in those after I looked at the back. But this is how they look. And from what I understand, you can just cut this little piece off here and feed them out and have them roll out. But from what people are saying, it's like they're easy to unravel. And also, if you don't want the color that's next, then you have to unroll them to get to the cover and then roll it back up, and it's a pain. I don't know. I'm not, you know, I'm not that caught up in it. I just wanted the stickers. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter how it works to me as long as I can get the stickers. And I know a lot of people are using the uh, Happy Planner um, page protectors to put them in. I'm not going through all of that. They'll stay in the box, <laughs> and I'll use them from the box, or I'll find some other little storage container to put them in if that doesn't work for me. I have so many storage containers, it's not even funny. But anyway, so this is what I got. The checklist version and the home life version. And I almost didn't get the home life version either because it's like everything just has shopping and laundry and shopping and laundry and it's like there is more to it than shopping and laundry but okay 
because I don't really use that many shopping stickers. When I think of shopping, it's like when I'm taking my kids shopping for clothes or if I'm going to the grocery store, like a real grocery shopping trip. I don't think of these little runs to Michael's or Target or whatever the case may be as shopping. But I'm going to have to start using some of these shopping stickers. So I'll be using them for my Dollar Tree runs and all that. So anyway, moving right along. Also from Michael's, again, everything was... Everything I got was on sale, and this was on clearance for 80% off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the whole thing on there, but this is a 16 by 20 um, board or frame, and it's supposed to be a display for our photos like they have here, and I'm sure it was part of the Christmas stuff, but I've been looking for something to use to hang up my sunglasses instead that right now they're just piled in up on my dresser and I've seen things like this on Pinterest before with just a canvas and I had canvas that I was going to do that with and I wound up using a canvas for something else so when I saw this I was like yes and even though I had already bought two boards from Dollar Tree I'm going to reuse those for something else and use this and it already has the strings on there so I can just hang my shades on there um, it even has these little pockets that you could tuck stuff in down here and I was also thinking that I could um, paint this I looked at the chalk paint so I do kind of like the wood but this is not going to work for me so I'll probably gesso it and just use some of the paint that I have. I'll probably leave this natural though. Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to add something to spice it up. But I really don't want to mess it up. So, but anyway, I got this. And this was like little of nothing. It was originally $32.99. So 80% off of that plus another 20% off. Also went to Dollar Tree and these are the boards I was I mentioned before I was going to just paint over these I'm still going to use these for something but anyway I was going to paint over these with some white chalk paint get rid of this glitter that's got fallout everywhere and these notches would have been perfect for me to hang the twine on for me to hang my shades on and I still might do that I don't know play around with it but these will definitely be painted over so and these were a dollar each from Dollar Tree and then I also got some of these velcro fast fastener dots pick these up because I'm gonna be doing a flip book then on another trip I went to Joanne this isn't really craft related but I just wanted to share this because the Joanne that I go to has their Christmas stuff on deep discounts and they have so many of these picks, these Christmas picks. And they were like, I don't remember what the percentage off was, but they were ranging from like 20, the ones that I picked up were from like 24 cents to uh, 79 cents. So, and I've seen people use these to fill in the Christmas tree. I don't know why I never thought of that. I always thought these were just used in floral arrangements but I got all of these to add to my Christmas tree for next year. So this is just a quick, oops, quick brief look at what I got. And again, these range from 24 cents to 79 cents. So got lots of silver stuff quite a few of these stars and I know these were 24 cents more stars so I'm looking forward to Christmas well why am I saying next year Christmas this year so that I can use these new picks on my tree. But I love Christmas, so yeah. So those are those, and I'm gonna put these 
back in the bag so I can get them packed away. Moving on to the next sack. This is, okay, I went a little ham in <laughs> Hobby Lobby. And they had everything, I think, was 30% off. So, I got the Glam Girl Mini. I'm not going to flip through. Any of these that you want me to flip through, let me know. Um, and I will do that. But this is the Glam Girl Mini. I got Mini because I will not necessarily be using these in a happy planner. So these will work in a traveler's notebook. They will work in your binder, your ring binders. So if you're a ring girl, don't be discouraged. Or a, a traveler's notebook person, don't be discouraged by happy planner stickers because you can use them in anything if you've been watching my from scratch spread you'll see that I incorporate happy planner um, stickers into my layouts quite often I also got the dates and holidays um, pack because sometimes I don't want to make my own date stickers and they have them already done here and sometimes you just want to have a different feel and I like that they have all the stickers and special holiday stuff in here already to go and these will also come in handy for um, I don't really care for these colors colorful stickers because I would prefer to have all of my um, stickers the same color for whatever period of time so I don't really care for that but yeah they do have quite a few monochrome so we're good that's enough to see me through so I picked that one up and I also picked up daydreamer so I am ready with the stickers I am ready and I picked up the Agenda 52 stickers. These are from the Paper Studio, and this is what you get in this. So you get the icons, arrows, you get some flags, you get some header, um, rounded headers, you get some of these half circles, and all of these have different um, text or icons in them but this one is a payday pack that's what it says payday foil pack so and again these were all on sale so I picked that up then I also got the glam girl um, little half pages and these just have focus on check it off gratitude notes and then on the back it's just notes like this so this is basically what they look like and I'm always thinking oh I can make my own half sheets I can make my own half sheets because these were so inexpensive I went ahead and bought them but I'm pretty sure in the future I'll probably make some printables that are more specific to my needs but these are pretty generic and can be used in several different ways so I went ahead and got them I just want to measure these are just a little bit too long to go in an A5 um, disbound system, I think. But you could always just cut that little half inch extra off and it would be good. Yeah, because these are a little over nine in inches, so nine and a quarter probably. You probably have to cut off three quarters of an inch. But being that that's just notes at the bottom, same thing with these. So if you're using an A5, you could probably still get away with using these. So I got those, and let's come back to Joanne for a minute. I've been holding these bags until I could get back to my desk and until I was feeling better. So it's like I would feel better one day, then the next day I wouldn't, and then feel better one day, the next day I wouldn't. So hopefully it's over. So I picked up some more um, alphas. These were on sale. I don't remember how much off. I picked up some more alphas to put my name in my planners. I already had a set, but I needed more. So, And then here is another 
um, half sheet with a daily schedule for the happy planner and this one actually goes with the trendsetter which is the one I am using for my um, business and social media stuff like that we got some more Dollar Tree I picked this up thinking that I would try to use this this is a bill organizer it's very flimsy y'all very flimsy but I wanted to play around with it because I already have an insert similar to this and if I can come up with a way to make something that you could use in a traveler's notebook or a ring system or even possibly this bound then I want to do that but in the meantime I'm gonna to try to use this but I'm pretty pretty hard on stuff so I can already see this getting ripped because this paper is like it's just really thin it probably would need to be reinforced with some packing tape on this on the edges because I don't think it will hold it's gonna hold up but I just wanted to play around with that one then I also got these for no specific purpose just to keep to have them in my stash these are the diamond wrap adhesive sheets they actually have these in the garden section at Dollar Tree so I picked up two of the silver and one of the gold I like the silvers better and I also went to Tuesday morning and I picked up quite a few things but mostly pretty uninteresting things just adding uh, supplies to my stash I picked up this this red extreme double-sided tape these were 99 cents I'm not sure if this is a great deal um it's one eighth of an inch though so I thought that was pretty cool but it's only 32.81 feet but again this is the extreme tape so it's extra super hold supposedly I picked up two of those then I picked up some premium double-sided tape again this is 1 8 inch I'm hoping these work really well I've never tried them but uh, being that it is Tuesday morning I wanted to grab quite a few to work with these were 99 cents as well and then I got the quarter inch wide version for a dollar forty-nine, and I've seen people haul this before, and they say that it works really well. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Then last thing from Tuesday morning. Yep, I bought it. <laughs> yeah, they don't look like me, but I just thought this was so cute, and not everything is going to look like me. So I bought it anyway. And this is Halloween double-sided paper by Authentique. And it's just Halloween paper pads, 36 sheets. But it is also double-sided. And just like I'm doing Christmas, I think I'm going to call it 12 months of Christmas. You know, kind of like 12 days of Christmas. Um, but I will be doing something at least once a month for Christmas or Christmas inspired. So... I might throw in a few Halloween items here and there in addition to that because that's another holiday that I always want to create stuff for. I just love making stuff for Halloween and I never have enough time to do it. So if I do it all year long, then. So this is, again, just. Not over the top Halloween, but very grunge Halloween. And that's the kind of stuff that I like. So, And these were just like icing on the cake. And there's only one sheet of those, I think. Let me flip one more time. Yeah. That's not nice. <laughs> they could have gave us two sheets of these. But, yeah. So I got that. I went to one of the new Dollar Trees that we found and I just got a few things. I got these metal um, looking stickers. See those? 
They're very pretty. And I got this one, the Parisian theme. And I got this one with the owls. And I thought these would be little nice accents for junk journals, things like that. Then I also picked up some more of these little storage um well they're snack containers but i use them for storing little teeny things and i wish they had more hot pink but i settled for the blue for now when they have some hot pink then i'll switch these out and give these to my son i didn't need this i just wanted it so bad because i'm not paying for one of those pillows or any uh, cosmetic bag or anything like that that has this feature but when I saw these in the Dollar Tree I was like okay that will satisfy my need to have this and it's only a dollar and maybe one day I'll actually use it and that is this mermaid scale notebook look at that I love this whole concept with the sequins that you can flip that is just I think it's so cool but I is there the pillows everywhere are so expensive I'm not willing to pay for that and like the cosmetic bags and they do have this stuff in five below but again I didn't want to pay for that <laughs> but now they have these little notebooks in Dollar Tree and it's just basic lined paper nothing fancy on the inside so quite cool Okay, got that. Then let's move on to Target Dollar Spot. I picked up these stamps. These are out with the Valentine um, items in the Bullseye Dollar Spot section. And these are $3. And it's the wood stamp set with blah, 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 the lips to do, a line of hearts. Yes, the ooh la la and then these little hash marks. So I picked that up. And I said I wasn't going to do this, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I got these task pads. Let's open it up and have a look-see. I said I wasn't going to buy this, and I went right ahead and did it. So it's just one large pad but you can take these apart so they're perforated where you can separate the little pieces and so I think that's pretty cute and again you could punch this and use it in your happy planner and I think this kind of matches the glam planner if I'm not mistaken and I got these little page flags with Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday weekend just little page flags okay and this was a dollar where's the thing this was a dollar the notepad task pad whatever these um page flags were also a dollar information this list pad again i think it goes with the glam girl um it's already been open but it was a dollar and then these little notepads with the calendar on them where you can fill in your calendar. I thought these were cute for a traveler's notebook. Like when you're making um, your dashboards, you can uh, fill it out and laminate it and make it part of your uh, page marker or dashboard like that. Cute. And then I just went list pad crazy. I don't know why. <laughs> and I got this list pad own your today and it was just a dollar it's just color uh, it's like a pink peachy color very light goes with anything <laughs> another notepad morning noon and night very light colors and I think this is part of this same collection here so these can all go together and actually I think all of this is part of the same collection, really. 
think this is the only odd, odd one out. And we're coming to the last little bits here. This was Total Impulse by, I don't know, this is not a good deal, but the pouch is cute. And it says, Make Today Lovely. And it has these teeny tiny binder clips in here. And this was a dollar. So that's two, four, six, eight binder clips for a dollar. That's not really a good deal. I think you're just paying for the packaging. So, but it's really cute. And then I got some more cards to use for thank you cards or for outgoing um, packages and such. And last but not least, again, more sticky notes. This is two. And this is, they were for a dollar, two, four dollar. This is what it looks like on the back. And so this is just a list. And this is, I'm likely to forget. And you can just write on these little, like, page flags. And I think these kind of go together. Yeah, they do. So. Oh, I can't believe I got through that. So, <laughs> that is everything. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Like and share the video. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.